Hello, my name is Fafte and welcome to another episode of Tutorial. Apparently that's what I'm calling it now. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go to the main site of the Unkbot thing. Uh, today I'm actually going to show you how to set up Unkbot. If you want to call it Unkbot. I actually don't know how to pronounce that. But I'm going to call it Unkbot. Sounds weird. Um, so this is the main site. I'll put in a link in the description below. And you can actually get this yourself. Uh, now, the, download the latest version, just click this hyperlink here, the version 1.1.8.4. Just click that and you should be done. Um, you're also going to need your authorization code right here. I'm going to blur that out so you actually won't be able to use mine, because if you use mine, I'll kill you. Um, so, just copy that for the moment. Uh, actually, just leave that for now. I'll also leave a... Um, what was it? A link, yes. <laughs> a link to uh, the twitchats.com forward slash TMI. Uh, so you can actually get your auth code right here, or you can just do it within the onkbot itself. Yeah, I think it might be easy if you do it in the onkbot. So you just forget about this site for the moment. Um, I've been testing it out. Uh, yeah, whatever. So let's get rid of that. Once you download it, get rid of this site. You don't need it anymore. Now, once you have it, open up the program. You should get this. Uh, for God's sake! Come on. I'm trying to hide my background here. All right, go. So you you first need to log in. Uh, you're gonna have two, you're gonna need two accounts. So one is your bot account, which is what I have on the right side there in my chat. You should see Fatbot myself with a broadcaster, uh, and you're gonna need your own account uh, that you broadcast with. So my not my bot name is Fatbot. So that's what I log in with for my into Unkbot itself, and Fatcrafter would be my actual streaming. Broadcaster, live stream, thing of a bob. So you're gonna need those two accounts, or you can create one right now. Uh, go to the credentials. Firstly, you're gonna have to do a streamer login. So once you've done that, you can log in with your username. The auth code token, you can generate one right here. You just need to log in to Twitch itself right around this corner. It should pop up a little line here. You can generate one. Generate one. Once you, once it's been generated and you log in and generate and authorize all that. Just click connect and it should just like unhighlight and then this should be turning on. Do not press that, you actually disconnect yourself from the actual streamer login. So once you've done that, just close it, you don't need it anymore. Now you're gonna need to log into your bot, which is a bit awkward. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you're gonna type in the username of your bot. Um, since you can't do capitalization in here, it doesn't matter. You just need to put in your username and then do the same thing for the auth code token. Um, you can just have it, will just have an extension over here. On the right side of this little bot login. For crap's sake, seriously, people. Alright, I'm just gonna have them. Uh, I shouldn't really hold it for long. Okay, so bot login, you get that. It should be on the. Uh, there should be an extension on the right side uh, where you can log in and whatever. Once you've done that, uh, type in the channel that. your channel into there so it actually connects to your channel. You can also troll people by typing in another. Ch Another channel's name. I've done that before, and it was quite funny. My bot spammed like hell. My God, I shouldn't really tell you about that. Anyway, once you type in your channel, uh, you can put the port. It should be automatically six 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 seven. I know that's a devil sign. Whatever. Okay. Um, connect, and then you should done. Now that you've done that, I can show you throughout the whole entire thing. You've got your dashboard here, um, you, where you can uh, customize your name. So currently, my thing is called the Great Lucky Block Run because I was doing some sort of stream like that. I didn't get many views. I didn't actually I didn't get any views at all. I was just bored out of my mind. I just didn't want to do that. So let's just rename this right now. Bomb. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can do a automatic manual. No, not automatic. Manual commercial. Uh, I'm not sure about what that is, but I think um, I think once you put in a uh, message here, you you can click uh, like every one minute. You can click for one minute. I don't know what the hell it does. I actually never used this before, but yeah, uh, there's this automatic commercial as well. Your message here. Get up, girls. Okay, I didn't type that at all, but it might be automatic. Um, so yeah, so this should say whatever you want under here, like a repeated message of going to your YouTube channel for sake, uh, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Twitter, what the hell you want, Instagram, Vine, whatever the hell you use, 
Um, you also you got your automated hosting. Once you go offline, it will automatically go straight onto another host that you've chosen. Uh, it also uh, once you start uh, once uh, you're streaming, it also tells you what what uh, just what new followers you just had currently, just like now apparently, and then today subs raiders apparently how many raiders they apparently just can tell as well okay so you got your regular commands tab this is where you can custom make custom make your own commands um such as exclamation mark or you can put like the hell i don't know but exclamation mark is the most useful one um you can type in help oh god i'm gonna burp like all my mountain dew out oh god Whew. So set to no parameter, you don't need any parameters at all. Permission, you can set it to moderator, subscriber, regular editor, or caster, apparently. So a caster means like the broadcaster itself. Only the broadcaster can use this. So since I'll just have help, um, you get no help. Okay, <laughs> so once you've done that, just add that. It should be, you can choose between a uh, true or false enable, en enableability. Sure. Uh, so once you go on to the actual channel, type in that. In command, it actually helps. Then your bot should automatically respond. It's fun, isn't it? Okay, so your timed commands. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I think it's just like an automatic uh, automatic command that uh, the Unc bot actually does. I'm not sure, but it yeah, whatever. So your quotes. Um, here people can actually check um, adding like several of your um, quotes like you said on uh, within the stream for the moment I guess but yeah uh, here's your giveaway tab where you can actually have a raffle keyword I guess and then you can set it to normal viewers subscribers or moderators only you have to be a must be a follower or you, you can just untick that everybody can do and then you can notify the winner in chat so uh, it, this requires the currency system, so I'll explain that in a couple of seconds. So you can start the giveaway, and then yeah. And now the special effects system. I actually never use this, so I actually don't know what it does. But I think um, I think you can do jump scares with this. So uh, if you have like a scary sound or whatever the hell, and you're playing a horror game during the time, you can actually just uh, put that. MP3 in here, and then type put in a command like slash scare, and then it'll just like scream in your friggin' ear, and you probably like sh sh crap yourself or something. I was about to, you know, just crap yourself. Uh, yeah. Now onto the currency system. This way it gets a tad bit more complicated because you're gonna need two commands, but you're gonna need to have all your mods or just some people that you want to be. An editor onto the system uh, because once you become an editor you can actually literally control everything on this whole entire bot uh, of all their commands so you can just like mess around if you've got a troll friend he's gonna add in some random bull so be careful who you choose so at the moment uh, I call my point system crafting points because yeah I'll let you figure that yourself anyway uh, one once you've um, in my chat room, once you have two hundred and fifty points, uh, you automatically become a regular on my channel. So you can also add a custom response, but this is the response so far. Um, yeah. So and you can also have custom ranks as well if you want to, just like this. Cause I was bored out of my mind and couldn't do anything. And then you got the, the payout intervals that you can do. No, while I'm streaming, every ten minutes I will get um everyone will get ten min uh ten minutes ten points, uh while I'm streaming, um the offline payout I have no idea what that is so I'm, I'll just set that to zero. The uh, regular bonus I think every regular I add or every regular that just reaches two hundred and fifty points, everybody will get twenty points bonus. And every subscriber, if I actually with Twitch, okay, whatever. Every subscriber bonus, uh, every subscriber I get, everybody get fifty. And for the moderator bonus, I'm not sure. I think every time I add a moderator, 
everybody gets 30, I think. I'm not sure. Unfollow for bonus. I'm not sure about that either. I think uh, whoever follows, everybody gets 5 points or whatever. Unsubscribe, etc. Active user bonus. Okay. So that's pretty much it. You can actually automatic. You can manually type in your username here, add the points, custom make it, and then hours. So you're going to like to the settings tab. There's nothing really that you should really worry about this in here. Um, you can add your editors here. So you just type in a name. You can add editors. So I'm just gonna add myself because I need to be an editor. Um, symbol protection. So you can. Uh, this is also a spam bot protector. As um, trash compact thing. Anyway. Um, for okay, where is it? I forgot what I was doing. Right. You can set your minimum symbols. Uh, I've set my symbols to twenty maximum symbols. Similar symbols. And cap protection, I set it to 30 caps, uh, 30 capitalized letters. You can also blacklist um, um, words, like phrases or words, whatever, and then you can add your own punishment, like a purge or whatever the hell. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, here's a link protection, um, turn a personal link, everything, whatever. I don't think I actually have that on. Oh, I do. Um, yeah. Anyway, so you get your whoever subscribes to get a message here in in chat. Same for the new followers and save raiders. Actually, I'm just gonna get a freaking thing out of it because literally it's gonna be annoying. So, do not worry about the basics. It's just gonna be annoying. It's freaking Google Doc shite. Uh, extra features. Now, this is uh, one of the misc uh, misc stuff. So you got the death counter. You can add this with in your stream. Which will be fun as hell. Though it does not detect how many times you die. Um, you can set it to mods only. And every every time you die. A mod will actually do the command. And then it will add up the deaths you have. Or whatever the hell you're playing. I don't know. You're probably playing like. Puppy hug. And you probably accidentally killed it somehow. I don't know. The hell. Um, so let's test out this stuff. Okay. So uh, once you log into the thingy. Type bogus. Focus, and it should get there, and it should go the same way. There we go. So yeah, I think that I've pretty much covered everything. Oh, right now I still haven't done the uh, points commands as well, haven't I? So uh, once you have your custom named points or coins or whatever the hell currency you made, so you're gonna have to type that. So your point name, mine will be crafting points, and then you're gonna have to put add or remove. Either way, you don't actually have to do the add slash remove. You just do one of those words, and then the specific name of your character uh, of your. Why did I put my name? What the hell? Uh, I'm not locked. Uh, name of your viewer. It no brackets, please. And then the amount of points or coins or currency. Whatever, without the brackets as well, and then you should automatically add. I press the numpad again. The hell, damn it! So close. Okay, so that should be the basic command that you all need to know. That's the only thing you need to know. And you should automatically get this type of message. Um, my uh, fatty crafter successfully removed 50 from fatty balance. If you're moving, and then if you successfully added 100 to balance, you should get that as well. So I think that's pretty much all my time for today. I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial on some bow. I don't know. Well, I actually have no idea what I'm going to do next. Hmm. I'll probably play some sort of game. I don't know.